Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What is up, gang? How are all of you guys doing? I hope that each and every one of you guys are doing well. Um, before we get started, you guys, I'm going to post the new winner for the Honey Pot Raffle here in the video. Um, my last winner, she never got back with me. So, you know, we had to keep the show going, you guys. I'm going to insert her name and her ticket number here in the video. And hopefully she sees this and she emails me at mysticbeauty at gmail.com. And she, she claims her cash prize, okay? All right. Um, I also want to say thank you to everyone who is a active member of the Self Love Club. It means so much to me. I'm going to make sure that I stay active in the clubhouse. Also giving you guys free readings here and there um, in the clubhouse. And, you know, I just want to, I want to give you um, something to look forward to in the clubhouse. I'm also working on some other activities for us as well behind the scenes you guys so which will be exclusive to the clubhouse just like the honey pot raffle from now on it will be only exclusive to our clubhouse members okay all right so let's go ahead and get into this reading you guys so i was shuffling the cards and the three of pentacles came out first that was like the very first thing that came out and three of pentacles talks about working working on something okay this talks about um, people working together to get something done, okay? This, if you look at this card, you guys, there's one person standing up and there's two other people just standing there listening. So Spirit is telling me that there are people, there are a group of people who are targeting the chosen ones. They are targeting God's kids. They are targeting light workers. They are targeting healers. I'm talking about true healers. They are targeting people who are helping other people. They are targeting people who has pure intentions. They are legitimately targeting God's kids, okay? Um, when I saw the Three of Pentacles, normally this talks about a work situation. So I asked Spirit, I'm like, what do you mean work? I just kept hearing work, work. So then I hear one of my spirit guides say, doing work on someone. I said, oh, okay. So I said, Spirit, what what is going to be the karma like give me the energy for this group of people like there's one and, and there's a ring leader because look at this if you look at this card you guys it's a person standing on a stool listening to other people talk like this this these two people are listening to this one person to talk about something so you guys this could be someone who has a platform you could have a platform but this is definitely someone who may have some type of influence over other people. Other people want to listen to what they have to say, okay? Even if they don't have a platform, these people just, they seem to have some type of influence over people. So I said, Spirit, give me the energy around this, this, this person or these group of people that are working together maliciously to spread rumors and lies about our chosen ones. Okay, so you guys, the fool card come out in reverse. This is not being able to take action on something, you guys. This is something being brought to a halt. Okay, this is this is not being able to move forward with whatever action that this is that they're trying to do. Okay, this this what that means. So it also means being careless, foolish, reckless. Okay. This, this talks also talks about being gullible, irresponsible, and negligent. I said, oh my God. So you mean to tell me that there, is, there are energies out here who are spirit, view them as being gullible. That means who the fuck told you that you could gossip about God's child? Who told you that you could spread rumor, ru rumors about God's child? Who told you that you could do spell work or attempt spell work, send negative energy, black magic, whatever, use energy manipulation to try to block a child of God, to block ch the chosen one? This part, these people or this person could have even been doing work to slow your finances down, you guys, or 
sending you negative energy, targeting your finances, three of pentacles energy. But spirit is saying that they are gullible as hell for this. This is some gullible shit. And spirit is saying that these people that are listening to this person, they're gullible as hell. They will believe anything. These people will believe what whatever somebody tell them. Just, just, just very, very gullible. And spirit is saying that it was very irresponsible of them to do this type of work or try to attempt to do this type of work on someone who is is favored in God's sight. Or to work together. If this is not spell work, you guys, this is someone gossiping about you because they are standing up high above these people. So this is someone who who feel like they're better than other people or they feel like they're higher than other people or they may have a higher position, maybe like in your workplace or something like that. Like, you know, this is someone who feel like they're over other people. This is someone who sits and they, they stand or whatever they do and they gossip about you to other people. And there are others that listen to this person. Spirit is saying that they're all gullible as hell. The person that's doing the talking, Spirit is saying this was very, very reckless of them to move like this towards you, not knowing how hard Spirit rides for you. That's what they don't know. Spirit is riding hard for the chosen ones. Spirit is riding hard for these light workers, for the peacemakers, the peace bringers, you know, people who truly, truly have a pure heart and pure intentions, who are truly helping others out from a pure space. Okay. You are walking in your purpose. You are doing what you were called to do. And spirit is saying that these careless fools, because the fool card is here, these, this careless, foolish, reckless energy, very negligent of them to try to do spell work on you. Very negligent of them to gossip about you. Very negligent of them to gather a crowd to go against you. For some of you guys, you may be getting gang stalked. If you have a platform or you have a high following or whatever, Spirit is saying these fools, very negligent of them. Okay, very irresponsible of them. So I asked Spirit, I said, what is these, what, what is their karma? What is their karma? First of all, they're going to be losing out financially. So whatever you lost, like if you lost anything because somebody got gossiped about you or somebody lied about you or somebody was attempted to do spell work on you, you know, it didn't affect you. But I don't know, maybe. No, I just can't see this affecting you. So they're telling me whatever they intended for you to lose, they're going to lose that times 10. Or they're going to lose that times 100 or times 1,000 or times 5,000. That's what they're going to lose. These people are going to suffer a lot of missed opportunities. Okay? Nothing is going to go in their favor. Okay? Just nothing. These people are going to lose their jobs. They're going to be left out in the cold. These people will face hardships. So if you have people in the workplace that are gossiping about you, trying to make you lose your job, trying to make people look at you in a certain light, thinking that they're bigger or they're better than other people, or that if someone is using their platform to talk about God's child, to talk about a true divine being, to talk about a true God or goddess, to talk about a true child of God, to talk about someone who has some very, very cold and calculating ancestors. I just heard return back to sender. But the thing about it, even if you didn't do a return back to sinners, your ancestors are stepping for you. They are stepping for you. Okay. And also spirit is telling me that they will be left out spiritually. That means that they will pray, but their prayers will go unanswered. Their prayers are about to go unheard. Okay. Spiritual poverty. These people will feel like giving up. These people wanted you to give up. Okay, this, these energies, this group of people are this one ring dumbass leader. You know, they wanted you to give up. But that's not going to happen. Because you have high ranking spirits that back you and watch you and guide you and lead you and carry you. It was never going to go down like that. This is why spirits said that they are gullible. Who in the hell told you that you could target someone who is high ranking like yourself? A lot of you guys are high ranking spiritually, okay? And you are merely here doing God's work. 
So it's like when people do dirt to you, karma come back on them quickly. That's what spirit is telling me. So these people are in for a rude awakening, whether it's actual spell work or if it's just lies and gossip, fake friends, fake lovers, people that are maliciously targeting you. They are trying to work together, band together, teamwork to team up against you. Fools, all of them. These are people that want to be you. Okay, build a bitch, major copycat. These are these are energies that want to be you. This is why they're targeting you because they can't be you. These are people who are not comfortable with who they are. They have not stepped in their power yet. They think they have. They feel like they're powerful, but they are not. They are not. Fake witches hating on you. So these are people who may be tapping into spell work, but spirit is saying that they're frauds. They're fake. It was never going to work. This is Sesame Street shit. It was never going to work. Because they don't know who they're going up against spiritually. And that's the thing. And if spirit is kind of giving me a vision of somebody's ancestors kind of sitting back. Just kind of like with their, with, their, with their fists on the side of their chin or on their chin. Kind of looking like, are they really going to try to do this? So y'all really going to try to target this divine person. That we will go to war for. That we're going to protect at all costs. So they sit back to watch. They stop back to see just how far these imbeciles are going to go. Just how far they're going to take this. Hmm. These people want you to mention them. They want you to mention them. So that they can gain clout. So you may have a high following or people just look up to you. So these people want, want you to mention them, even if even if it means mentioning them to set them straight. Don't do it. Don't do it because that's what they want. That's what they want. See, the thing about it is everybody cannot be hexed. You can't hex everybody. Some people are some people are unfuckwittable. Period. They don't need to do return back to sinners. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to do any of that because of who they are, because of the ranking of the spirits that walk with them. They don't have to do a damn thing. They have to do nothing, okay? Some people think that they just, I don't know, maybe they've gotten away with hexing people in the past. Well, guess what? These were people who were not that divinely protected, possibly very low vibrational anyway. And, you know, they don't have that type of connection with their ancestors or their spirit team or neither do they have these type of powerful high-ranking beings that, that travel with them, that cover them. You cannot hex everybody. Everybody, some people cannot be hexed and that's just on God. That's just how it is. You can try. You're not going to get very far. Like you are literally these energies that are doing this. These people that are sending negative energy of uh, going up against the chosen ones who are lying on you, who are stealing from you, who are making other people turn their back on you, who are lying to people, trying to trying to snoop and, and find things on you that they can make you look bad. Spirits say they are fools and it's never going to work. And that they are fake witches. They're fake. Kind of like people who wear sorority clothes, but they're not in the sorority. Okay? They didn't get initiated in. They're not. Some people want to feel a part of something so bad. Oh my God. Didn't I say collecting dirt on you? Damn, I'm good. Okay, damn, my spirit guide's good. You can believe it. If I said that shit, you can bank on it. These is some fools. These are imbeciles. These are some damn fools. And it was very negligent of them to think that they can curse God's child, that they can hex a chosen one. You got to, you, you, would, you, would, you would actually have a better turnout smoking crack than to think, that you and you and you and you and this weak ass committee that these energies are getting together to cyber stalk people, to cyber bully people, just a dumbass and their minions. 
who are all gullible and will believe any damn thing. This one person that's doing this, that's collecting these people to work with them, they're putting everybody in danger. They're putting everybody in danger. Because when spirit comes to collect, when your ancestors come to collect, they ain't going to want to hear, we didn't know. 1515, when I said that, they're not going to want to hear such and such told me to do this. Or such and such said, let's dig up dirt on her. Or let's dig up dirt on him. They ain't going to give a fuck nook. They're not going to care. All they're going to want is that ass. And that's what they're coming to get. I just said collecting dirt on you. And it come out as soon as I said collecting dirt on you. These people are going to get themselves hurt. Some, some of them even killed. I'm just being real with you. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Spirit is telling me that some of these people are doing death spells against your health. They're doing ritual work, spell work against your health, your kids, your home, everything. They want to take you out. And Spirit is saying that they're not going to want to hear but nothing. They're not going to want to hear anything. They're not going to care if somebody say, well, I didn't know what well, you should have. You should have knew better. Ignorance is not a, a, not a, it's not a pass. Spirit don't give handicap passes. Haters are mad to see you winning. So they're mad because you're winning. But guess what? It's in your birth chart, love. You're always going to win. You're chosen. You're divine. You're sacred. You're a God. You are a goddess. You have a purpose here. Your life, your one life is worth millions. All those people that you're going to reach, you're going to heal those people. You're going to heal them. You're going to help them. This is why the enemy is working so hard to take you out of here, but you cannot be touched. You can't hex everybody. You're like walking karma to these motherfuckers. They don't even know it. Like deer in a fucking headlight about to get their asses smashed. And I like deer meat. Just, just, just so you know, I like deer meat, you guys. <laughs> I like some good old deer sausages because that's what they're going to be. On a mission to turn others against you, what I say? What did I say? If I call one more car for it fucking come out the deck, I could just end this reading right here. These people or this one person who may have a platform or a lot of people listen to them, they're gossiping about you. They're collecting, trying to collect dirt on you. They're on a fucking mission to turn people against you and your ancestors is on a fucking mission to eat their asses up and they don't even know it. And the people that they're, that they're gathering to be against you that are putting in work for them, they're putting their life on the day. On, on, they're putting their life in danger. They're putting their life on the line. Because when these spirits come to collect, everybody got to pay. Everybody. Invoice. Yes, I know you got your invoice. Okay, spirit knocking on motherfuckers' doors. Because it ain't what you do. 1818, 18, when I'm finna say this, it is who you do it to. You fuck around and do spell work on an earth angel, a real angel that is disguised as a human. You got to be a stupid motherfucker if you think that God is going to allow this to go down. If you think that these high ranking beings are not going to personally come down here to thrash your ass. It's very important that you guys survive. It's very important that spirit keep you here. You have work to do. There are souls that need healing. There are lives that need saving. And these are weak vessels. I'm hearing spirits say they're not even worth the breath that are in their bodies. And they are playing with their life. They are playing with their children's lives. Because spirit is not going to care when they come to collect. If these energies have been doing spell work on you, your kids sending negative energy towards you and your family, spirit will take what's closest to them to prove a point. They better get it together. These, they better get it together. Okay? Because every dog has his day. And sometimes spirit will let you think that you're getting away with something just to see how far you're going to go. 
an ex hater will reach out and try to work inside with you. Some for some of you guys, it, this is an ex, and and for others of you guys, it's your ex and some female or a man that you don't know who just hates on you. Send negative energy towards you. They're jealous and in competition with you, but it ain't no competition. You can't defeat God. You work for God. You work for source. You work for most high. You can't compete with that. You are who you are because God say you are. You glow and you shine because that's how God made you. Ain't no competing with this. This person needs to stay in their lane. These people need to stay in their lane because it's getting dangerous. They are playing with their life at this point. They're playing with their livelihood at this point. Inboxing your followers, trying to turn them against you. Look at that. Some of you guys, you do have a platform and you have been gain stalked. And spirit is about to go down the line on them. Even people who was just in, just like this man, they're getting, they're even getting the ones who's not even the ring leaders. Everybody will be touched. There will, ain't no ass gonna go untouched. Trust me. This is sad. This is sad. So it's just karmic, karmic energy everywhere. Everywhere you turn, karmic ass energy. Look at this shit. Your God-given abilities irritate them. Didn't I say you are who you are because God say that you are? This is what I'm talking about. These people are jealous of your gifts that God gave you, your creativity. You're creative. You know how to make money. You know how to make money and help people. Just jealous and fucking, fucking spiteful. Okay? Look at this. Spending their money on spells that's never going to work. Spending their money on spell work that never works. Because everybody can't be hexed, you dummy. Everybody cannot be hexed. Somebody needs to hear this. If you know that you are a true child of God, you are a true beacon of light, you are a true light worker, you out here, you are doing your damn thing. Keep doing your damn thing. Fuck these haters. Because that's all they are. And these are the same energies that if they saw you in person, the motherfuckers will fold over like bitches, crying, happy to meet you like a true fan. So, I don't know who needed to hear this, but whew, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. And, I'm, and Spirit is telling me that these people are never going to see this coming. They are never going to see this coming. And that's just period. They're not going to get away with game stalking you. Wear this on your Facebook, your Instagram, your YouTube, your TikTok, whatever. They're not going to get away with get, getting a group together to harass you. And whoever this ring leader is, this person is putting everybody's life in danger. Everybody's life in risk. Believe that. I see these hoes not even getting sleep at night. Afraid. Because the spirit is going to be giving them nightmares. Keeping them up all damn night. I just heard spirit that some of them are going to wish that they were dead once their spirit is done with these people. Look at this. For some of you guys, they may apologize to you. A hater will apologize and have a change of heart. Yeah, that's because they're, they're going to be fucking scared. They're going to be tired of spirit getting on their ass like this. this they're going to apologize to try to save their ass. Some of them won't because of pride and ego, but it don't matter. Spirit don't give a fuck if they apologize or not. Okay, look at this. They want to see you suffer so bad, but it's never going to happen because you're chosen. You're chosen. It's never going to happen. They can keep playing with themselves and everybody around them. Remote viewing, looking into your life with their mind. These people trying to spiritually attack you. They're trying to tap into your dreams. They're trying to tap into your mind. It ain't going to work. Spirit showing them the wrong shit. It ain't going to work. Look at this. For some of you guys, you may even have to take legal action against this person. This person going to lose everything if you take them to court for harassing you, for stalking you. This motherfucker may even serve time. Hmm. Look at that. Your high energy pisses them 
off. That, that light that God gave you pisses this person off. Some of these people are puppets. Dark entities are using them. They're puppets. Spirit don't care. They still going to take their asses out of here because spirit look at it like this. Your ancestors look at it like this. Most high look at it like this. You shouldn't have been so goddamn low vibrational and these entities would have never been able to latch on to you in the first place. Bring that ass here and bring a belt. That's all. That's all. That's what they're going to say. Look at this. They will expose them sell themselves and they're telling people that you're fake so these haters they're going to expose themselves you ain't got to say nothing pay attention they're going to expose themselves and when they do just sit back and watch and see how sweet will take care of it let me pull from the karmic consequences decks to see just kind of get a little uh, uh a sneak peek and into these people's karma for harassing you, for stalking you, for wishing ill will on you, for trying to catch you, jinx you, all that crazy shit that don't that only work on low vibrational people, okay? And people who are not highly favored. Mm -mm, spell casters. Some of you guys are spell casters yourself, but you don't spell cast on people, and that's the thing. You only do what you have to do to protect yourself and to protect others. And this is why. This is why Most High chose you to have this gift. And this is why these whores don't have this gift. And this is why Spirit called them fake witches. Because they're wannabes. When, to, to what it say? To whom much is given, much is expected. So the people who really have the gift and abilities to do stuff like this and it really work are people who don't even do it. That's crazy. People who don't even do it to hurt people at all. People who really gifted with spell work and, and whatever, those are healers. They, they use their gifts to heal and help people. People who use it for dark magic, they're not even really gifted like that. Because spirit never never would give you that those type of abilities because they know your heart. They know that you they know your black ass heart. They just some wannabes. They want to be seen. They want to be relevant. They should want to get a life and maybe a priest to pray for their ass because spirit is coming for them. Go ahead and give me these energies, karmic, karmic lessons, Holy Spirit. Some of them are going to be catching sexual diseases. What else, spirit? Because I'm hearing they could have wished that you caught a sexual disease. What else, spirit? Thank you. Look at this. Downgrade. Spirit is about to downgrade their whole life. So whatever they had or whatever they thought they had, they won't have no more. Look at this shit. Look at that. Job loss. Downgrade. Didn't we say earlier? I said earlier that these people who are hating on you and sending you negative energy are about to lose their jobs. Okay? Employment line. Look at this. Because they're jealous. They are so jealous of you. It's disgusting and, it's key, and it keeps coming out in this reading. Didn't I say that some of them, their kids are going to pay because they send death spells to you and your kids and shit like that? Stupid shit. And it says karmic debt will be paid off by their children. I said that. And Lord knows I'm, I wouldn't wish nothing on nobody's kids, but I am the messenger and I have to say what spirit is telling me. If somebody is targeting a divine being, sending death energy their way. See, first of all, if you're wishing that something happens to somebody that has kids, you are, you're still targeting those kids. Because if something happens to their parent, then what's going to happen to their kids? Right. Somebody's putting their own kid's life in danger. What else are we scared? I'm hearing sick spirit is sick of playing with them. Rejection and rock bottom. So this person wanted people to reject you, but guess what? Now they're going to experience rejection and they're going to hit rock bottom. And what, what, what did I say? No longer spiritually protected. I said their prayers will go unheard. Their prayers, they will cry out to God and nobody will hear. Nobody will come. These people are about to be tormented and nobody will come to their aid. Their wishes, they, they won't be able to manifest none of that shit. None of that. Mm -mm. 
So that's a wrap. I'm good. Now I got that off my chest. When I, when that came out of them cards, I was like, oh my God, let me sage this energy up off of me. Let me sage this energy up off me because, oh my God. So listen, I'm sending protection for all of you guys or whatever because karmics are really out here playing with their life. Okay, whether it's karmic friends, karmic family, karmic readers, okay, just karmics are just on the run in the fucking muck. And spirit is coming through like the fucking Orkin man, just so you know. They're coming through like the Orkin man, getting rid of your pest problem. Because I'm hearing, I'm, I heard them say getting rid of your pest problem. Okay, all right. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Peace.